That just sounded like something I should do. Katie? Yeah. Oh my God, Katie, can you send me tips? Because that, that just made me feel things. Hi, I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and this is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. We're filming in the WeWork Times Square in New York City, with a guest who really inspires me, and I am very excited. She is a lifestyle blogger. She is um, a social media influencer, a world traveler, and a full-time attorney? Everybody, please, let's give a very warm welcome to the beautiful and amazing Cynthia Andrew. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. That's really appreciated to be here. Well, I, I'm so happy that you're here. And thank you for I, having me. I have to say, you look fantastic. As I was coming up the elevator, I was wondering, um, you know, what you'll be wearing. And I color. love, I love the color. Always color. That's like my thing. Color just makes me happy. So I tend to just, if I see something colorful, I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm probably gonna take that from you before we leave here, because it's so pretty. Well, I love that about you. I love I love your Instagram feed and your blog. Thank you. Thank you. Um, have you featured this yet on social or the blog? Not this combination, but I have worn the pieces separately, so it's always about playing with color and pieces. Well, in addition um, to color inspiring you, what other sort of things inspire you when you think about putting your ensembles together and, and getting it out there on Instagram? Oh my God, this city is inspiring. So just walking around and like seeing the style, like other people's style, travel. Every time I travel, I pick something new that I want to add. Pretty much everything around me. It's, it's the people I see, it's the stuff on Instagram. I mean, it's it's the world. I, I love that, and yeah. and I'm I'm actually very proud that GoDaddy has been helpful for you. Um, your blog post um, that you wrote uh, now it's maybe a month or so ago. Yes. Um, it's 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 just so genuine and so meaningful to look back and think about how. Um, the company who I work for and love very much is helping you, and I love what you're doing so much. What, what has it been like for you to work with GoDaddy along the way? I think really, the, for me, coming yeah. from being an attorney, there was a lot about the technical space of having a website that was a little bit scary for me. So really knowing that, like really understand the concept of having a platform and a place where they can help me with SEO and all these things that really were my cup of tea and making it simple and accessible, that's really been the best part. You, you are taking on this fashion space and you are an influencer and you look impeccable every day, but you've also gotten a master's degree in practice law. Yes. How do you do all of this? <laughs> uh, I don't think about it. I think what I learned is when you think about things too much, you could psych yourself out because then it just seems like it's too much. But if you just do it, I get up in the morning, I do what I need to do and I don't dwell. And it's, I just one step at a time. Went to law school, I started practicing. I said, oh, I'm interested in media and communications. I'm gonna go do a master's in that. So I did that. I said, hmm, I'm interested in starting a blog. So I started doing that. Um, and again, I just, I just wanna encourage people to realize that they are capable of so much more than they think. When I think of law, I, th I think very serious. I mean, scary, like you put your hand on that book and you, you speak the truth and all that, and I think it's so serious. And I think yeah. of the lifestyle and the colorful fashion piece that you bring to in your personal life. Do you ever find that they're just so different from one another? And do people question, like, what? they seem just so opposite. Yeah, they do, they, yeah. They do question it. Um, I don't think to my face. I think they question it to other people. Um, but I, I really don't care anymore about people's yeah. opinions of yeah. me. I know that I know my work. Uh, when I was, um, I would say maybe six years back, starting out as a younger attorney, I, I, I was sensitive to people's yeah. opinions. And then I realized that, you know, if I'm walking into a courtroom with confidence and I know what I'm talking about, you know, it, you know, you can't really take that away from me. Yeah. You know, you really, we would all love to create this perfect narrative, but the thing is, people still have opinions, regardless of all the efforts you may put into making them like you. Yeah. So be yourself. I still believe you have to, you know, be a good person. You have to be humble. Kindness is, is, is necessary, but um, you have to be yourself. And then, you know, the right folks that need to be in your space will be in your space. And then when you, when you shine, 
Yes. And you have that confidence as yourself. You you attract people. Yes. And now you're a social media influencer. And you have like, a lot of people looking every day to, to see where will you go next? What will you wear next? That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Because this was really just a hobby. It was an outlet. It was an opportunity to do something a little different. Yeah. I never intended or planned for it to be um, where it's gotten. But it all was a lot of work. Nothing comes easy. It's, it is all about the hustle. It's about working hard. Uh, and the rewards speak for themselves. If I hadn't put in the work, I don't think I would be where I am now. Well, I definitely want to get into some very serious entrepreneurial questions. But first, I want to just take a little break and play a game that we call Hustle Time. This is going to give everybody a chance to get to know you on a little bit more of a personal level, and it's fun, and we'll keep it upbeat, we'll keep it fast. All right. Give it a mix. Okay, Shut give it a mix. mix. Just uh, kinda feel, channel uh, and feel the cards. All right, what's and, feeling good here? I'll stop yeah. right there. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is set a timer for 60 seconds and see okay. how many okay. you can get through. Okay. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. So Jonathan, can you set a timer for 60 seconds and help me count? Yes. Okay, thank you. Tell me when. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two, one, stop. Early bird or night owl? Early. Um, last person you texted? Uh, my husband. Do you floss every day? No. Large dogs or lap dogs? Large. Favorite workout? Oh my God, none. <laughs> one word you wish you could take away from the English language? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Number one guilty pleasure. <laughs> um, ice cream. <laughs> How would your mother describe you? Uh, a lot. Um, would you rather never be able to teach or never be able to learn? Never be able to teach. What's the first app you open in the morning? Instagram. Favorite New York City tourist attraction? Uh, Columbus Circle. Best place you've traveled? Uh, Seychelles. Um, dream dinner, dinner guest? God, um, uh, that would be Oprah. Which Hogwarts house would you be sorted into? Oh my God, uh, I am not a Harry Potter fan. Chocolate, uh, milk or dark? Dark. Snapchat, has a long life or lost cause? I don't use that. First celebrity crush? Oh! Ah, but I wanna know. River Phoenix? Ah! You got 17. Whoa. <laughs> I knew I could do it. You know, everybody, of course, is so excited to gain some advice and inspiration, but I'd like you to first tell us about what a typical day looks like for you. Oh, whoa. So, typical day, probably my first alarm goes off about 5.30 or 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. And this is usually, I give myself about an hour of me time, and this yeah. is just to, to read, or sometimes it is email, sometimes it is social media. Yeah. But I check on my calendar and make sure I'm set for the day. I usually, on a good week, I have my outfits planned out. On a bad week, I don't. But then I'll shower, get out there. I spend a lot of my commute on the train doing social. Because usually, once I get to the office, I switch, I, I like switch off social and get into office Cynthia, which is different. And, and so I, I'm a meeting person. I have meetings all day. I will then check in with social midway through the day, check in with my husband, um, and then work, work, work. And as soon as I get off work, my social media, Cynthia, gets, <laughs> kicks back in, and I engage, I write a plan, I write blog posts, I reach out to collaborate. If there's a collaboration, if there's an event, I attend events. Um, I do most of that till latest 10 p.m. I do stay up late, because at 10 I sit on the computer and I write. Anything that I've been thinking about that I want to put down, I write, and I probably lights out at midnight. Um, you know, it's a long day, it's a busy yeah. day. What's yeah. your favorite part of that? What's that moment in your day that just makes you so happy? Breakfast. <laughs> but, but that, that first meal of the day, oh my God. Because you never know when it's going to come. It might be 9 a.m., it might be 1. Yeah. And it's like, you get to eat. I'm, I'm so happy. I love to eat. I love Especially that. bread. Ugh. I'm with Oprah on that one. Yes. Bread I all day. I love bread. <laughs> what is the best piece of advice that you have been given along the way? Oh, my goodness. I would say the best piece of advice has been to trust myself, like my instincts a little bit. Um, and that's that's hard for a lot of us because I, know, I think I, I hear that often with women. You're, you're pulled by so many things and you want to be so many things to so many people. Um, and I've just been working really hard on trusting my instincts. They've gotten me here so far. On the flip side, what has been the worst piece of advice? Trust my instincts. <laughs>
No, 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 no. Um, they haven't failed me like that. Uh, one of the worst pieces, it, it probably yeah. that you can only be one thing or do one thing. Yeah. Being um, West African, uh, there's this growing up, you're kind of supposed to go through a very traditional career path. You're like a doctor, a lawyer, engineer, and that's it. Okay. And anything else is considered a distraction. And so I went to school to be one thing. And I remember when I started telling my mom that, oh, I'm kind of, you know, playing around with this other thing. She's like, what's that? Um, and I did get a lot of from family members who wanted nothing but the best for me. It was so well intentioned. They're like, oh, that's not, it's going to make you look unfocused. You're not going to look like a serious person. You, you can only, you know, pick something and, and do that. And, you know, we're, we're so, we're so multi, we're like multi-dimensional people. We have varied interests, you know, so, um, I don't think we, we ever have to be just one thing. Be, be all the things you, you need to be or want to be. And it's okay to be fluid and know yourself yeah. and go with the right flow for you and change yeah. your mind. The options are endless. Yeah. Don't ever feel like this is the world. The, the world is it's massive. So once you limit yourself, you will never know your true potential. How are you using your career to inspire other people? Uh, you know, it's, it's crazy because when all I did was um, traditional uh, law and litigation, I felt less moved to talk to younger w other women or uh, others along my path. I don't know why, I, I just wasn't inspired to do that. As I started doing more social media and meeting folks and traveling, all of a sudden I felt like I had so much to, to, to give and so much to share. I've been doing a lot more speaking and, and going out and especially I feel very strongly younger women because I see myself in them so much. I love your, your upbeat energy and whatnot. Are you always this way or have you ever have you felt like walking away? Oh yes, <laughs> oh my God. Everything is, who doesn't have those quit moments? Yeah. Um, but you can't, it's a moment. You right. know, it's okay. like you, you, you have a feeling because you feel like, I'm not doing this well. I, I'm, yeah. I'm messing up. Yeah. I, this, this is not, I'm not doing great, you know. And I've had those moments, but I've learned that it is a moment. And you just have to make it through that. And you'll be okay on the yeah, other side. Yeah, it's a conscious choice. Yes, you have to choose. I choose that I will get through this moment and keep going. Keep going. I am so inspired by you and you know a lot, but is there any one thing that you still need to learn? Ooh, I'm sure there's so much I still <laughs> need to learn. Um, it's funny, but I've always wanted to be better at languages. I think because I love to travel so much, yeah. I just feel like language opens you up to more people. Yeah. So, and uh, Portuguese for some reason just sounds so amazing to me. I've never been to Brazil. That's on my like 2019 list. Okay. So, um, I, I don't know, maybe I'll get, get an app yeah. or something and start learning a language or two. I love that. And what is one thing that you want people to learn from you? Ah. I guess I mean, that honestly, you, you could do it all because, you know, most of us just don't know how much we have in us. So if they, they, they like, wow, Cynthia, she's, you know, some Saturdays, she's just rolling around and, uh, and yet she's able to accomplish all these things. I could do that. Yeah. I want people to see me and say, I could do that. What's next for you? Aside from learning Portuguese and going to Brazil, <laughs> yes. um, what's, what's next? Um, this year, I'm actually, I can't speak to most of it, but this okay. is a year I really plan on challenging and pushing myself really out of my comfort zone. Okay. This was Simply Sin. I'm moving outside that bubble to do some new things. Still I can't, under at Simply Sin? Still under at okay. Simply Sin, but I'm, I'm going to be making some, some real changes and really pushing myself. When we let people know that you were coming, we got some questions in. So I, I have two questions that I want to um, share with you from social. Um, Katie asked, do you do any visualizations or meditation to stay grounded? Ooh, I don't, but that just sounded like something I should do. Katie? Yeah. Oh my God, Katie, can you send me tips? Because that, <laughs> that just made me feel things. No, right? I don't. Um, I dream a lot, does that count? Do you remember your dream when you wake up? Yes, I actually you do. do. I remember my dreams when I wake up. And do you dream in color? 
No, I I, I yeah. don't remember the I I don't know what colors they are, but yeah. I remember my dreams when I wake up because I tell my husband right away. And then do you go ahead and e extrapolate what that might mean? I think about it for a little yeah. bit. It's usually me running towards something. I'm always running in my dreams, That's just aww. running, running away, running to, yeah. you know. Yeah. I know. I know, I, I like that. Um, so then John asked, um, what are three skincare items you can't live without? Well, I, I always need a cleanser. Yes. Because I put all this stuff on. So something <laughs> to take it off. Um, so a cleanser, moisturizer, and skincare. I'm, I'm big in like, into just like old school, yeah. nothing complicated. I, I'll need something for my skin, a moisturizer for my face, and a cleanser. If, if I only had to have three items, that okay. would be it. That's fantastic. And you know what? We have one more question. Ooh. It is from another social media influencer, I must say. Who is and this? this influencer is our beloved pug, Noodle. So, Noodle. Noodle, you know, um, doesn't travel too well. You know, he, he, he doesn't do so well in cars. He can pop on the occasional airplane, um, but he likes to be on the move. Yeah. And so what he wants to know is, um, what advice do you have for someone who wants to get away but really can't take a lot of time to travel and, and go really far? Yeah, you know what you have to do? You have to pretend you're a tourist in your own city. The truth is, I like that. you never go anywhere that's nearby. You make assumptions, it's right there. To be honest, I only went to the Empire State Building like two years ago, because yeah. I had a cousin who insisted yeah. that they had to go up there. So, noodles, you can just, have you been next door around the corner? You might discover a little coffee shop or yeah. a little bakery you've never been to. Yeah. I promise you, if you think of it that way, it's so much more exciting. You go to a restaurant you wouldn't have considered right around the corner, yeah. um, take a walk for three hours and discover something. I want that advice. You, you, that, right? that, that, you, make, you guys can make so basically yeah. that So basically, Jonathan, you got to take him on a walk. Yeah. Not during, <laughs> not during office hours, though. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I, I have really enjoyed this. You. This has been great. And I know that everybody has gotten just so many different tips and inspirations from you today. Oh, thank you for having me. This is, this is brilliant. GoDaddy has been a super partner. It's been super amazing. Just in terms of someone like me who's on social, who needs like the tools and the ability to do the work I do, it, it requires that the machine behind it just work seamlessly so that I don't have to think about it or worry yeah. about it. And so every tool or anything that I have in my disposal that does that is priceless to me. And so to be able to do that and then now like have this conversation and do School of Hustle, that, that's just really amazing. So thank, thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. We, yeah. You know what, you're, you're family for life. You are, you, are, you are an icon of our tribe, let me tell you. Um, in closing, um, I like to leave everybody with a final piece of inspiration that comes from somebody else. Mm. So there, I have a, a few cards here with some sayings and I want you to um, kind of pick the card that calls to you. And, and let's talk about if you love it, hate it, live it, or whatnot. All right, it says, um, if you wait for somebody to bring you an ice cream bar, it's gonna be melted by the time you get it. So get it yourself. Yeah, so his point was you can't wait around in life, right? This no. idea. So, so what do you think about um, Mr. Bill Carter's advice that. here? Do you live I, it, love it, hate I, it? I love it, I live it. Yeah. That is so true. Because I think it's, it's easy. Some of us keep saying, if someone just hands me the right yeah. opportunity, if someone just does something for me, you have to go out there and get it or it's melted and useless. Exactly, exactly. It's not gonna come to you. You gotta yeah. hustle. You gotta hustle. Um, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and, and thank you again for being here. Thank you for having me. So it was it's a lot brilliant. of fun. Um, we're bringing School of Hustle to you every Wednesday in full on YouTube, on Facebook Premiere. We have teasers on LinkedIn and Twitter. Follow us across social and just get more um, fabulous advice, just like this, every week. Thank you so much, everybody. See you again soon. Yeah.